It is a wonderful Sunday morning, and I had an experience that has affected me deeply. So this is going to be kind of a different kind of a posting. It's no fakeness. It's no airs. I'm not trying to pretend to be something that is definitely not macho. Because on this Sunday, even though it's a beautiful Sunday and I'm feeling my spirit and my spiritual connection to God, I've had experiences that kind of affected me. And so I kind of need to get it out. But I can't get it out in the short way. I kind of got to tell you the long story, unfortunately. And I'm sorry that I have to tell you the long story. But for those of you who are interested, I think that in the end, I will make some poignant examples clear to you of things that you may want to rethink about your own life and that I think about in my own life because shit happens. I'm a 62-year-old physician. And in this moment, as I sit before my Lord, I am so thankful because to be a black man who's a physician in the United States of America in 2018, you one of the luckiest out there. And I'm constantly reminded spiritually of my blessings because I have been blessed. And because of that, as I have aged, I seek to be more humble, more soft-spoken, calmer, and so, this is a posting that's sincere. My lesson is, you don't fight with people you love. 62 years old, y'all. I've had two shoulder surgeries, a stroke. I got high blood pressure and diabetes. And I look like this, and I'm thankful. I always say, if you gotta have a stroke, have the stroke I had. So I'm thankful to my Lord, and I know my place, and I'm humble before God. I'm humble because of what I've been given in my blessings. And as a man, I will let you know I've had my flaws because of that ego. See, I've had my flaws, and as a black man, I've grown to be conscious and learn slowly to keep my mouth shut. You learn to be better. You strive to be a better partner. So when I have experiences that affect me profoundly in this day and age, I want to talk about it because I have no wife. I have no children. I have no employer. As I've said before, I am a loose cannon. And so I talk about these things because I wish for you to not make the mistakes I made. I consider myself a relationship guru, not because I know how to make relationships work, but because I know how to fuck them up. And all you gotta do is not do what I did and you halfway there. So let me set the context because I have been a selfish man at times and I need to take you on this journey with me a little bit because you may see a bit of yourself in this. Okay, you may see yourself in all of this. So I had my time, y'all. I've been blessed, I've known women Beautiful women, accomplished women. Your first black woman in space, Mae Jemison, is a friend of mine from County Hospital. I've known women, blessed women. But I have also been one of those brothers throughout the years that was difficult to rein in. Some of you will see on Facebook, a bunch of my exes, they love me. And I have one of them who told me, Recently, 
I was her worst boyfriend, but her best friend. So you got to take all of this in context. So I grew over the years. I was blessed in the fact that even as a young physician, and some of you know me from the party days, baby, we took no prisoners, right? We, <laughs> you know, say I, I live like an alley cat and I sure could howl, okay? So I admit, and in those days, even then though, I had my moral things. I, I may have been a philanderer or whatever y'all want. I did not commit, but I didn't lie. I was never going to tell you I loved you just to have sex. I was never going to, and I decided that when I was a teenager. There's things I'm just not going to do for sex. Even though there's some women out there, boy, <laughs> they make you, they make you almost ready to say any damn thing. You, you be ready, but I kind of stuck to that. And so I grew. For 10 years, I was with a woman who's now dead. She was with me for 10 years. She always told me, you don't have to marry me. You don't have to marry me. When the day comes that you don't want to be with me, you just let me know. And that woman taught me a lot because I'm one of them brothers you know, I got the gift of gab. In my day, I've told people off in fashion that was eloquent and hardcore. But that same woman that I was with for all those years who made me a better woman, who's now dead, I remember her telling me, Mario, when you talk to me sometimes in these ways, you make me feel this big. I didn't know how to respond to that. She also told me, you never fight the people you love. You never strike out, you let your guard down. Now, a lot of you say that's some crazy shit. It's not. You don't fight people you love, and I truly believe that. You let them win. At 62, I know that to be truth. You let them win because you don't fight them. You let them get it all out. You let them say it. She went on after me, got married, had two kids. But when she got cancer, she wanted me in her life. Her husband was all for it. He was like, call Mario because people respected our friendship. I went to every chemo till she passed. So the things that she taught me have profoundly affected me. A good woman will affect a man like me. She could check me and correct me in ways that today still I marvel at because she did things in such a loving way. And so the Mario that you have here today is 62 ain't the Mario from 35. You get to this point in life, there are things that confront you. And so I've had some experience of late that affect me because I've had a friend who's so adamantly angry at me because after a disagreement, I didn't talk to her for two days. And then you would think, I had assaulted her children. <laughs> the, the amount of vitriol that comes back. But again, these are some very beautiful women. I've known, like I said, this is a very beautiful, accomplished woman who's known me for years. And she knows me. We have been friends. But after interacting with me and we had an argument and she didn't talk to me for two days, which I call myself giving her space, she damn near hates me for that. Just that. Who do you think you are? How you think the world 
revolves around you, who do you think? Two days. Now granted, she's a very intelligent, beautiful, accomplished woman. She got some money. He's done a bunch of shit now, see? He's flipped him. You know, they, quote unquote, I'm not trying to be nasty, but this is a, one bad bitch, <laughs> okay? I'm just saying, she bad. So they have a sense of privilege sometimes that seems to extend, as you all know, above and beyond. But remember, I told you, my other friend told me, you don't fight with people you love. And I truly believe that. You let them win. You don't raise your guards up because if you win fights with people you love, it ain't over. It ain't over. So, the point being that I sit here today in this moment of reflection with my feelings hurt because not that I was trying to actually re, you know, establish the relationship, but just because I wanted to Reestablish the communication with a friend. I'm not gonna fight you. I'm still not sure exactly what I did, but I'm not gonna fight you. If it's that way, you know what? Then you win. Okay, you win. But the point is, and you are gonna run into the same kind of things, that there are people that we care for in our lives who will disappoint us. I don't know why. Again, I'm a humble man at 62. I'm not the Mario at 35. I don't woof and do all that talk and all that. I just let my guards down because I've learned to keep my mouth shut. Words are like bullets and you can't take them back. So I sit here this morning reflecting because someone that I have loved is very angry with me. And I've loved many. But there's really no anti-Mario group out there as far as I know. This is maybe the one. That... So my point is to all you all on this day as I sit here reflecting because I am so affected by this experience that I can't hide it. Recovering from major back surgery. I'm in a good place. But shit happens. So I just want to remind a bunch of you to watch your mouth. Don't strike out at people you love. Let them win. And then it's all right to be that. Forget all that macho ego bullshit. It's all bullshit anyway. Let all that shit go. It's unnecessary. So for me, I'm having a day of reflection because someone that I love is very, very angry at me for things I'm not even sure I did. I guess that's all right you have to move forward. Remember I told you in the old days some of you know me, Marl Hensley, you would talk some shit. I said I sure did. But at 62 you know what I do? When people I love are mad at me I shut my mouth and I humble myself and try to think of my God and the things that would be best for me. And I'm encouraging you to do that too. You can go on and let them hurt you. Go on and let them hurt you. Do not fight. Cry your tears and move on. I'm only so hurt. Not because I needed her to be my woman, because, you know, I'm 62 years old. And I ain't never married. I've never been engaged. I have never asked a woman to marry me. It ain't like I was going to probably marry this one. I don't know. But I'm amazed at how angry, how angry and hostile she is to me. Because that is what I truly regret. Whatever I did. And believe me, I told her. So two days, right? So obviously, 
in the two days that I didn't speak, I hurt your feelings. I hurt your feelings in a way that obviously is fairly profound because you were definitely hurt and angry. And so I'm going to use this moment to remind myself of what my friend who died taught me. Don't fight with the people you love. You let them win and go to another place. So today on this Sunday, I'm sitting here reflecting on the profound blessing that I have to be a black man who's a physician in this United States of America in the year 2018. And I am so thankful to my God for teaching me and allowing me to become humble. Keep that mouth shut. Don't fight back. Just be hurt and let it pass. Because you know what? In the long run, you will feel better. Because you will feel better. Every time I, let me tell you, I want every fight. I want every fight, okay? I learned my lesson because you didn't get me a damn thing. So don't win fights for people you love. Just let them win. That's my message on this Sunday. As you can see, I'm profoundly affected. And I don't mind letting it be seen because the one thing you learn as a strong man it is so much more affecting when you let people see your cracks. I'm not afraid of the cracks. I'm 62 years old. No wife, no children. I am a loose cannon. So, just letting you know that me too, like you, struggle with love, commitment, companionship, self-worth, and that is all right, because there is God. There is God who means for us to take this journey and grow as people. And that Mario Hemsley is forever capable of improvement and change. I could be a better man. I could keep my mouth shut. I can love profoundly. And so I will continue to do that. So on this Sunday, as I sit here, I just want you to know I'm affected. I'm feeling my God and my place in this world and maybe there's some lessons to be learned from all of this. Thank you.